All right, we're gonna start with the heater off. It's all installed. Uh, put the fuse in while I hold the up and down button. Go ahead. It's gonna start beeping when she plugs it in. As soon as it starts beeping, we release. Okay, so the first thing you get is the battery setting. So 12 volt or 24 volt, you hit up or down. I have 12 volt. Power button's how you get to the next setting. This is just the initial setup. Next one is gonna be the fuel pump volume or the fuel volume. I'm gonna leave it at the default setting of 22, but you can go up and down. Power again. This is the glow plug power. Again, you can go up and down. I'm gonna leave it at 80. And then this is just the power of the heater itself. Mine is five and a half kilowatts. I'd assume on an eight kilowatt, it would say something different. Back to the first setting. And then you hit settings twice. That brings you to the main screen. So if you turn it on right now, it's gonna display in Hertz instead of degrees. So we'll turn it off by holding power. Goes back down to zero hertz. If you press and hold settings, that brings you into settings. So the first setting is gonna be the clock. So you hit power, that brings you in to the setting. Here it is 8, 12. So it's in military time. So it's 20. Power again to get to the next one. Oops. We'll say 15. Okay. And then you hit uh, the setting button. The OK buttons, how you scroll through the settings. Second one is a timer. So we'll hit the power button. Uh, so say I want it to wake me up. We're going to set the power to go at 6. And that's 10. It's always going to be uh, a 0 there. So this is 6, 6 o'clock. We want it to start. And then if we hit, I believe it's OK. So this is the time that we want it to shut off. This thing gets pretty hot. I'm only going to have it run for 10 minutes. Just like that. And then you hit setting. Uh, let's see, okay. So C3, this is where the controller comes in. So you just go ahead and press and hold A. And let it go when it beeps. Press and hold B, same thing. You can see this little uh, signal thing here uh, goes down and goes back up. Cool. Next one. So this is setting if you want to display in hertz or degrees. So PP is hertz and HH, uh, let's see, I think it's, there we go. HH is in degrees, okay? So we hit settings. So now it's displaying the correct time. And to set it that timer on or not, you click and hold the up and down button at the same time. So now that timer's on. Now it's off, and then if you hit power, you can see it's in degrees. All right, so A is gonna be off. B is gonna be on. So B, if you click and hold, so I set it back to Hertz here because when it's in Hertz for some reason, you can set it to three different settings. So initially it's gonna set it to medium at, at three Hertz click it again and hold. It's going to go to five and a half. So I guess the high setting again, and you get the low setting of one Hertz and then a is off. So for some reason, for some reason, when you're on degrees, it only just goes to your preset temperature. So you can see it's not changing at all, but A is still off.